Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Welcome to our show. <laughs> Peter is the star of the night. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you so much for watching. So I am actually on my way to work almost. Back in my bag. I feel so into pink today. So I'm wearing this skirt tonight at work. My heels. Really have to buy new ones because they're disgusting. Oops. I have so much to fill you guys in on. I have been so busy lately. I know I always say that it's so annoying, but at university, all the teachers and professors think that it's funny to throw all deadlines on us right now. So literally yesterday I had two deadlines. Thursday I have two presentations. Next Monday I have a really big exam and a week after that on Monday I have another exam. And it's just crazy. So. I also have to work three times a week because I'm the worst planner. So, okay, enough complaints. What else do I need? Also, I rearranged my whole room, as you can see. So, during a panic attack or a stress attack due to my university, I thought, let's rearrange my whole room. So, I put my mirror there. I bought this new cabinet. It's really nice. And I put it together myself. And I'm just gonna put a mirror here. I already ordered it. But I have to leave for work in like five minutes. Come and watch my little closet. This is the other side, hello. So for a second outfit, because maybe I don't like my outfit, I'm gonna wear my leather things with a black underwear, black bra. Oh, hair, this and this. These are like garters for your legs, for like this. I'm gonna pack this, a shea butter moisturizer, my fake tan. I forgot to do it earlier. Makeup, wallet. What else, what else? I'm such a chaotic mess. Why am I like this? Deodorant. Perfumes. I also just got a new pair of glasses because I am minus three on both sides. So I got this from Ray-Ban. I actually really like it. I feel really smart with these glasses. So I'm just going to wear them to work. And then I am going to switch for lenses there because the air conditioning there is so powerful and the air keeps blowing in my face so after like a couple of hours my eyes get so dry it's just too much for me so now since like a week i just wear my glasses to work and then i switch to lenses when i'm there and then after my last round my last show i just switch back to my glasses again you know why not let's normalize glasses as something sexy Alright, let's go guys. By the way, I also want to show you guys my new bookcase. Oh, that's a bug. But I'm really happy with it. Love it! Being my age is so confusing because I'm now 25 years old. And I only hang out with like people who are older than me. And I feel like everyone is in such a different stage of their lives right now. I feel... Like, I am a unsupervised child. I mean, if you watch my first vlog, I told you guys that I literally feel like a child of like 18 or something with adult privileges. So no one tells me what to do. I can just do whatever I want. Like the sense of freedom I feel every day is almost overwhelming. Oh, I'm out of breath because I have to hurry a bit. Just on the bike. Whew. 
but my only goals in my life are just to create things, to have fun, to inspire people and to make people happy with my shows and my music, for example. I really want to make and put out music. And other than that, I just want to like spend time with my family, with my sister and like work a lot, just to fill my bank account, give back, I do voluntary work, but I don't really have a wish to have children or like a family of my own one day. Like I have never had that, like a children wish. Ooh, I'm almost fell out of my bag. And everyone keeps telling me it will change when you get older and I was the same with your age. But I felt like it since I was like 12 years old and it hasn't changed and I'm already 25. So I feel like if it changes, I will accept it and change my opinion. I'm not like rigid, but I just don't feel any like, desire to go that path. So my life goals are a little bit unconventional. Oh, always happens. Hey, schatje. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I'm just learning how to curl my lashes. I'm really bad at this, but it does work still. So I'm just keeping it into my routine. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Peter is the star of the night. I am ready. And I got my nice juice. With avocado, spinach, kale, broccoli, cucumber, apple. I'm so healthy, oh my god. Very good. So this morning I got a ginger shot and I felt like my whole stomach burned away. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole installation today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm investing in my channel. I'm investing in you guys. Look, all the hardship I went through to get this here. I'm wearing my pink outfit. Pink skirt and pink barber shirt because I just want to be comfortable tonight. It's a Monday, so it's not going to be busy at all. I'm also so bruised on my legs. Oh my god, you see this? This weekend was crazy. And that's too hard. Like, whenever I wear shorts, I'm like, no, I'm not being abused. I just, I'm a pole dancer. Like, it's all pole kisses. That's what it's called, pole kisses. You? No. Yes. Boring. listening to an audiobook of Harry Potter. I always do that when I get home. It was so much fun. And for a Monday, it was really busy. Like the times are so good for the club right now, which makes me so happy. I lost my voice a bit. Also, I sold champagne to this guy. I was drinking with him. He's so sweet. And he told me he was a doctor in Holland. And he said like, I'm very, famous doctor in Holland, like a surgeon. So I was like, yeah, right, you know, it's fine. You, know, you don't have to make up things. Then I Googled him and it's true. So then he told me he had to go home to amputate a leg the next morning. So I was like, why have you been drinking champagne all night with me then if you have to amputate a leg tomorrow? Crazy. But other than that, he was really sweet, so I hope Everything will go well tomorrow for him. And he was really cute. Like he looked really good. So then we did is he gave me his number when he left. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away. 
because I'm not looking for anything and not at all anyone from the club because I have this policy with myself. I'm not gonna date anyone that I meet in the club. And also I wanna prioritize other things in my life right now. I have many things that I want to do and I don't want to spend a lot of time on a guy right now, if that makes sense. So I just am really happy with where I am in my life and I'm very happily single even though no one seems to understand that these days. Like it's almost expected of you to have a boyfriend and to settle down and start a family but my mind is anywhere but there so I'm just completely focusing on myself and I am enjoying it so much and guys they will come it's not like a priority of mine so yeah it was a nice doctor though <laughs> also it was so funny after work everyone called me barbie and then peter the manager he's the sweetest he put on the song barbie girl i'm a barbie girl in a barbie world but i my whole life i thought the lyrics were you can brush my hair you can brush me everywhere instead of you can undress me everywhere I think it is so I my whole life sang you can brush my hair you can brush me everywhere so then it became a joke and Peter left the play really hard and then I started like mimicking brushing my whole body hair <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Always when we laugh at work and when it's so much fun, I feel this little bit of grief because I know that this will end one day. Like, I'm not gonna do this forever. I mean, I would easily. But I just know that I also want other things in my life, career-wise. And I just feel already so sad with the idea that it's going to end. That I'm never going to go back there one day. It's also why I keep documenting everything. That's also one of the reasons why I started this channel in the first place. It's just to document the whole experience and everything that I see, that you guys see as well. And that I also can watch it back one day. But I'm overthinking as always. I just have to be in the moment and be happy. Now I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna watch, no, I'm not gonna watch anything. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. Also tomorrow morning, I have another deadline. I forgot about it. So I'm gonna work on it right now. I know it's crazy. I'm also gonna close this vlog right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I My next video is gonna be a what's in my super bag video. So I hope you watch that as well and I also want to thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful for you guys. Really thank you so much. I saw it and I was like, what? A thousand people want to watch my weird videos. And I'm just so thankful. Really, I am so motivated to make more videos for you guys. And I hope that you guys stay with me. So thank you so much. And I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye.